Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to do a what's on my iPad type of video. I have the iPad 6th generation and 128 gigabytes. I am in love with this iPad, y'all. I believe I purchased it for myself sometime in April. It was a late birthday gift to myself and I have just been obsessed with it ever since. I love to watch TV shows on there. I um, I got a lot of iTunes gift cards for my birthday and then for Christmas. So I have purchased some past seasons of TV shows that I couldn't find on other streaming outlets and I enjoy watching those on there. Um, I love taking this um, into the shower and playing um, my music streaming applications on there. Obviously, I don't take this in the shower, but I have it in the bathroom playing music and I'm obsessed with it, y'all. And it's awesome to play, um, what's that game that I love? The Simpsons Tapped Out. That is one of my favorite games. I started playing it a couple years ago and then I stopped because I had an Android phone and it just, I didn't have enough memory on it. And so it's been about three years since I had played it. And I started back playing it this year on this iPad. And it's amazing. I absolutely love it. When I get to that part of the video, I'll click on there and I'll show y'all my um, my little town or whatever. So <laughs> nonetheless, this is my iPad. Look at this gorgeous case that I have on here. I actually got this from eBay. Um, I'm not a huge Amazon shopper. Fun fact, I've actually never purchased anything on Amazon. I'm probably the last person on the planet that you will hear say that. But I got this off of eBay. I will link it down below. Um, it's purple, obviously. That's my favorite color. And it's like a pleather type of material. I'm pretty sure this is not real leather, honey, because it was only about $13 maybe. Um i love it though y'all look at that purple and then look at the butterflies y'all know i love butterflies they are my jam and i love this little magnetic uh enclosure thing and then when you open up the actual ipad you have um, some pockets over here if you wanted to put cards and then this little pocket right here so you can really take this on the go and use it as a wallet or like a little uh, purse. You know, if you're going into maybe a business meeting or uh, maybe if you're going into your office building, you don't want to take all of your stuff with you. You can stick your cards and a little notebook, whatever the case may be in here. And obviously you have your iPad, so you don't need a notebook, but you would be all set if you did need to do that. So I would still have a case for it. And then I also want to show you all this cleaning cloth that I have for it. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, it is microfiber, which is not very absorbent, but this is great for just simply dusting off the screen of your iPad. Now I also have a tempered glass screen protector that I got from Walmart. Um, it was pretty cheap, I think, compared to the other ones that are out there. And yeah, Walmart also usually has iPad cases on clearance. So y'all check them out. Walmart is the plug sometimes. So as I mentioned, this is the sixth generation. I have 128 gigabytes and it is in the color space gray. I got that color because it is the darker color and because I have a black iPhone. So I kind of wanted everything to be cohesive, if y'all know what I'm saying. So um, for this portion of the video, I probably am going to change up my lighting just because I don't want there to be a glare, obviously from my broken ring light, as you can see. And also for this video, I will be using my stylus pen. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. Uh, a couple of months back, they had some paper mate items. So this came in a two pack. One side is the pen with the cap and the other side is a stylus, which I love y'all. This is amazing to um, play different things with the iPad on, you know, if you don't want to have your fingerprints all over the screen. So when you click on my homepage there, not my homepage, my lock screen, I have this gorgeous background that I got off of Pinterest. Hi, <laughs> I got this off of Pinterest and I will uh, link my Pinterest down below if I can uh, remember how to link it or I'll link my board down below and I'll show you all what other stuff I have on my Pinterest as we get further in the video. Obviously, I have the fingerprint uh, ID down there on my home button. This is my home screen, which I love as well. Again, it's from Pinterest. So we'll turn this horizontally and I'll show you all how the stand sets up. So that makes it perfect to watch movies on or TV shows, whatever. So at the bottom here, we have Safari. Honestly, that is my internet browser of choice on any Apple device. I feel that Safari works pretty good. At the bottom, I have Pandora. I love Pandora and I just use it for free, honey. I'm, I'm not paying for Pandora and I don't pay for Apple Music either. 
I also have YouTube. Y'all know what the deal with YouTube is. Um, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to me. I would love to have you on my channel. And we'll just go to my page. And you can see my channel. So there I am. And make sure to subscribe if you have not already. At the bottom there next to YouTube, I have the music app for Apple. So it not only houses Apple Music, but also the songs that I have purchased on my Apple ID account as well. I have Facebook, which is private for family. Uh, my Gmail account. And I have Periscope. Um, this little section down here, these three icons, um, these usually come up. If you visited one of these sites previously on your iPad or even your iPhone, I find that it's kind of synced together. I'm not a huge techie type of person, so y'all probably already know what I'm trying to say. But anytime that I visit something on my Apple ID account, if I go to my iPad, if I'm, you know, if I've visited it on my phone and then I go to my iPad and I look down here, it'll show me the previous app that I was just in. So... Hopefully y'all know what I'm trying to say without it being too complicated. But yeah, so those are typically not there. Um, they just show up because I was just on those apps. So these are the four ones that are mainly at the bottom that I go to. In my random folder, I just have find my iPhone, uh, podcast, listen to just a few podcasts. Usually I just do it on my phone, honestly. Voice memos, Apple Store, FaceTime, Contacts. The mail app that comes on here, I have my Norton security app, which is uh, security for all of our um, electronic devices in the home, including our cell phones, tablets, and computers. And we have shortcuts. I don't know what the shortcuts thing is for. It just came about all of a sudden. I feel like it was shortcuts to some kind of app I downloaded, so I have to check on that later. And my photography, I have um, photos, camera, and Pinterest. And I'll go ahead and click on my Pinterest for you all so we can take a good look at it and click on me down here. And here is my Pinterest. So it is under Weightless Wendy. You can look up, look up that information. And then I have actually my YouTube link uh, linked to my Pinterest as well. But it shows you my latest pins. And we will go to my board section so you all can see the different boards that I have. So I have my unique tastiness. I don't know why I called it that. <laughs> I've had this Pinterest for a long time. I first downloaded it and I didn't understand it at first. And I just recently got back into it several years later now. So I have to change the name of that. But that is where all of my recipes are. If you all watch my grocery hauls and I mention different recipes, that's where it comes from. Um, once I find one that I like, I make sure I pin it to this board in case anybody ever comes back and says, hey, I want to check that out. I have a self-care board. I also have planner inspiration, which is um, my photos that I've, you know, things that I've created that I put up there. I have to load some more. I've been meaning to do that, but I only put my stuff in planner inspirations. These other boards may be uh, pins from other stuff that I've seen on Pinterest. If you know how it works, you pin stuff to boards, but everything on planner inspiration is um, photos and images that I own. Uh, from videos that I've did. So I also have iPhone wallpapers, which is where all of my wallpapers are housed. Weight loss hacks. I have Bible study reading plans. So if you all follow along with me on my planning journey, I do scripture writing. And now I've decided to start looking for my Bible study plans on Pinterest instead versus before I would just search on Instagram. Um, I'm not quite fond of using that method anymore. So I just go to Pinterest. I uh, have crafts over here, which is just craft inspirations, um, looking online to see how people craft different things. I even have one here, like how to make a handmade bow, because I wanted to learn how to do that. I have right here a Stitch folder, because y'all know Stitch is my favorite character. Um, I have here skincare, hair tips and tricks, uh, plus size fashion, obviously a couple years old. Um iPhone success plus cases, you know, all that stuff. And then Instagram feed stuff or Instagram themes. I don't have any kind of theme on my Instagram, but back when I wanted to do one, I pinned a lot of stuff for it. So the next folder is productivity. I'm a big folders girl. I have notes, my notes section, which obviously is connected to my iPhone. So I'm not going to click on that or my messages, but I also have files, news, settings, map, clock, 
I have my LinkedIn, I have Indie Jobs, Gmail, iMovie, which I love editing on my iPad as well. It's another uh, thing I use this iPad for. The Calendar, App Store, and iTunes Store. So movies slash TV. So these are the applications that not only have movies available, but they have TV shows as well. So I have Netflix, Hulu, Tubi, which is amazing. Tubi is a free app that you can go on and watch like older movies and TV shows. Um, they're not, you know, I don't think they have anything super recent on there that it would have came out in the last two or three years, but you can go on there and find some really good shows and movies, y'all. I have Prime Video. Even though I don't shop for Amazon, I did have Prime Video at one point because I was watching old seasons of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, I believe, and they had a few of them on there. I don't have that anymore, so I might want to delete that. I have Vudu. Don't really use that account. I don't pay for it either, so it's just there at this point. And I have Stars, which y'all know I have that for Power and Power only, even though they have some good stuff on there too. But once Power is over, we're going to get rid of that subscription. And uh, the next folder is social. I have Periscope, which I don't uh, live broadcast on Periscope. I just go in there to watch people every so often. I have my Facebook, which is private. I then have Instagram, which Instagram looks a little weird on the iPad. It's not the same as it is on the iPhone. Um, let me see if I can click on it and show you all because it is going to um, go vertically. So let me not be all on other people's pictures here. So yeah, there is my Instagram if you want to check it out. And if you're curious of how it looks on an iPad, that's how it looks. So you have to do your screen vertically only. And it's very big. You are still able to get on to Instagram on the iPad. Next, we have Twitter. I'll click on that. My Twitter is set to private, but you can still request me on there if you are into Twitter. I've had this Twitter, y'all, since Twitter first started. I know some of y'all are a little young, but uh, obviously I've had it since May of 2009. I think it started a couple months before that or maybe a year before that, if I'm not mistaken. But I've had it for a long, long time. And I've gone and taken so many breaks from Twitter. I mean, years breaks. Uh, I would forget my password and then decide I wanted to log back onto Twitter. So um, that's just pretty much it, y'all my Twitter. I mainly retweet, honestly, funny stuff and real stuff, real life stuff. So there you have it. And then at the bottom is my games. Um, I have live me. I don't really broadcast on live me. I downloaded it just to watch a few people that I like, but I don't really broadcast on there. Um, I have Mario Kart, which I mainly play on my phone. But I have it downloaded on here as well. When I click download on it, I think because I pre-ordered it or something, it automatically downloaded on here. I didn't even have to click anything. I have Mario tapped out. So I'll go ahead and click on that so y'all can see. Because I love this game, y'all. And it'll take just a moment to load. And my name for Mario, um, not Mario Kart, Lord have mercy. My name for the symptoms... My name for The Simpsons tapped out is Wendy Pooh 91 and you just tap to continue. And I'm just gonna briefly show you what my little town looks like. Um, this is not a sponsor video or anything like that. Uh, honey, I wish The Simpsons sponsored me, but you get this little town. You get this little town and you have tasks that you have to do and you pretty much tap on everybody and you get all these perks and things like that. And if you've ever watched The Simpsons and you know all the characters and all that good stuff. And I don't I don't pay for anything on this game, but I do certain tasks. And the tasks sometimes will take 60 minutes, 4 hours, 8 hours. So you have to go back and check on your people in the town to see if they've completed their various jobs. And it's awesome, y'all. I'm on level 55. I love this freaking game. Then I have Best Fiends. I love that game as well. And the last, is this the last folder we have? It is. So the last folder I have, um, these are strictly for TV viewing. So TV shows only. So I have um, TLC Go, which I love TLC. WeTV, MTV, BET Now, 
FX. I have Spectrum TV, which is our TV streaming service. We have our internet through them as well. I have CBS, National Geographic TV, and then I have Apple TV, which is where all of my TV shows are. And if we click on it, I hope it doesn't break up any personal information. So it shows you, you know, different TV shows that I've watched. It looks like it's even uh, synced up to my Spectrum TV because I was watching 90 Day Fiance at one point and I was watching my 600 pound life. So it's asking me if I want to continue. And then if you go to my library, you can see the TV shows that I have downloaded. So I have uh, Marriage Boot Camp, Bachelor Pad, The Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise, and The Bachelorette. I love those shows, so I was just catching up on previous seasons that I may and I have watched. So that is everything on my iPad. Um, comment down below and let me know if you are an iPad user or a tablet user and let me know which one you have. And let me know if any like fun games or TV apps or like any new apps that I'm missing out on. Free apps only. I'm not paying for any apps. But I do want to thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye.